Welcome to Spielverending in the Fellowship STF. I am Wild, and I have another uh, unboxing or a uh, opening of the card pack and uh, showing off uh, some more Relic Blade miniatures. So these uh, are the deep miniatures. This is uh, quite special, as uh, is usually Sean doing uh, most of the stuff for Relic Blade, uh, but uh, this time around he had um, Keegan Kaya McGee as a guest artist so um, it was McGee that uh, drew this um, shark warrior for Sean and Sean sculpted it and made the cards for it and put them in the game and that's pretty cool and pretty neat uh, that he's done it's a collaboration between the two and um, they made two different characters, it was the uh, Shark Warrior and the Eel Sorcerer. Um, well, I think I'll just uh, rip this open, it's the same um, little packet as the, uh, the other cards come in. These are uh, eight cards in this. Let's see, you can get the cards for um, four. Four ninety nine dollars from relicplay.com. So, Ooh. groovy. So that's the eel sorcerer. It looks pretty cool. So this is the first time we see the wizard um, keyword for relic blade. So here's a coral snake eldritch bolt. Hello, man. That's twenty three points, and there's the shark warrior. This wavy sword and dual strike and thrashing bite. So he's a knight, so you can use the uh, knight only skills from um, you know, the, key, the keyword knight stuff from previous releases. We have a cleaner crab. So you can uh, regain health points for the deep only characters. Electroception glands. You can uh, force your enemies to re roll the defense rolls. That's some pretty cool artwork on that. Ink Shroud. So the deep characters can uh, relocate. So you could either either have a dodge token and you can use this anytime, or you can uh, roll for it on a two plus. You'll be able to place your character within two inches. Octopus potion. So you get a range two on the melee and natural weapons. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to drink that. But uh, to each his own. And then we have Consult the Eyes. So you can re roll dice. But the artwork is really. Uh, really something. The Anemon Blade. Covered, surging with the raw and ring covered in the strange sea life. It's pretty cool. So yeah, all of these, um, all of these illustrations are made by uh, uh, Keegan Kaya McGee. That's pretty cool. Okay, so um, the Anemon blade is a relic. So you shuffle this in uh, with the rest of the the, uh, the relics and. Um, these are part of the um, adversary, uh, so they are uh, the bad guys. You can put them into together with the the bone and darkness and the um, the pigs. But yeah, you'll be twenty three points. You should be able to make one about thirty points, a little bit less maybe. 
and uh, you get a, both of them and a couple of uh, couple of more guys. Um, miniatures comes in these Ziploc bags as well. This, I believe, is the Eel Sorcerer. It's, uh, the Eel Sorcerer is ten dollars. Um, that is a crazy, crazy neck and crazy head on the eel. So it's the body. Have the tail and that fits right in there. And you have his hands with the lantern and um, let me try to show you this the hand with the, uh, the snake or eel on it. Oh actually yeah. So this is this is the arm and the hand. So you have to put the the arm on and then the lantern on the arm. That shouldn't be a problem. It's um, it's a nice socket in there for it to slot in. And um, as you can see, it should fit fit quite nice. These guys actually come on a slightly larger base, so these are the regular 25mm bases, so I'm guessing this is like 32mm bases, so it's pretty cool. So it's, um, it's a slightly larger footprint than um, the other Relic Blade stuff. Let's see if we get the Shark Boy. Shark Warrior. It's kind of a running pose, but uh, you have support with the tail. Look at the hammerhead shark. Very nice. As these and on these guys as well, there's n there's not much, um, not not much mold lines at all. So you should clean up quite easily and quickly. So there's the wavy sword. It looks brutal. <laughs> really menacing. And the, uh, the little, the shorter blade. So you look. Something like that. So these are very cool. Uh, the shark border is ten, ten dollars as well. So um, it's it's not bad at all. Uh, absolutely not. I'm looking forward to uh, to getting these guys together as well and paint them and uh, get them on the table and uh, do some. Um, Put them these guys into the war bands. Uh, the range is uh, growing uh, quite a bit, uh, so you will be able to um, pick different war bands and try out a lot of different things for these. Especially now that we have a wizard and uh, uh, with the eel, eel sorcerers, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there haven't really been. Um, Spellcaster and per se, there's there's the cleric that can do healing, healing powers, and the the druid has nature powers, and the uh, dark washer can have some like necromancer powers, but there's no like classical wizards. So this is the start for that. Maybe we'll see more uh, more magic uh, in relic blade going forwards. Um, well, that's, that's also fitting for a fantasy setting. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, also looking forward to seeing more uh, guest artist uh, collaborations. 
uh, between Sean and uh, other uh, artists. And uh, you can find uh, all of this on relicplay.com and uh, we hope to uh, bring you more videos in the future. As always, please comment, like, share and subscribe and thank you very much to our patrons. Um, it's a huge support to make better content and um, if you'd like uh, to support us, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash spillfriending in the fellowship. Thanks for watching, see you next time.